Hey guys, just kind of wanted to do a little final review, or not review, just some, some notes, some comments about the installation. I uh, finished up everything on one side, uh, for the most part, so you put the wheel back on. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. But here's my old strut, it was not an inverted damper, so I had the helper bump stop on the top. You don't need to put that into uh, the Type R Ace struts because they are inverted. Uh, I believe the stopper, the bump stop is somewhere in here. You can probably access it uh, if you do maintenance on the damper, just removing that bottom screw right there. But uh, like I said, I chipped the crap out of it. I, I, this is my first time doing it. Um, I'm hoping that it won't uh, cause any problems. But I definitely like how the Type S springs, how you have the STI part sticking out there. It looks cool, even though you don't see it when you put it on the car. Um, just to kind of take a look, I mean, she's some, you know, oh god, I hate looking at all those chips. But um, the dust boot is the same. I bet the washer, the perch, and the, uh, uh, the, the strut mount on the top is, uh, they're all, I was able to just bring them over from the old strut to the new strut. I just had to leave the bump stop on the top. The Bilstein definitely is a lot beefier. It's heavier when I pick it up. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily, well, actually, I don't know if it's heavier to pick it up. Um, but definitely it's beefier on the bottom. I can tell right there if you look at the distance between the whole uh, edge and the edge of the strut compared to the stock. You know, it's quite small. I mean, there's not much. Uh, if you look right here, you can tell that there's there's quite a difference in the, in the thickness uh, from that. Um, of course, Bill's Jean Yellow, beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure how they compare to Olin's, um, but uh, I'm a big fan of Bill's Jean. Uh, another thing is the bolts. I uh, just wanted to kind of discuss that. This bolt, the one that goes on the bottom, the one that goes uh, right here. This one, when you're taking out the strut, it's very difficult to take out. Uh, what you're gonna, I think the one thing you're probably going to want to do is use a hammer. Uh, try to hammer it out. I was able to actually do it by removing the top three uh, nuts at the top. These top three um, nuts at the top. I first removed actually all three of those. Um, once I was able to do that, I could actually... Wiggle it at the bottom. Yeah, the strut already installed. Unfortunately, I thought you could see the springs really, but you really can't uh, from from uh, from from the outside. But uh, you can kind of just wiggle it around a little bit, and you can um, just kind of pull it out of the spindle. Um, my initial thought was to use the hammer, but uh, I tried that first, and it worked uh, by taking out the top three. Uh, but do be careful; it could fall uh, to the floor. So. You, well, actually, no, it won't because it's tied to the uh, spindle. Um, so I was able to do it that way. Uh, the manual doesn't want you to do it that way. They want you to uh, completely remove the top. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They want you to remove these two bolts on the bottom and then the one on the top. But it's really difficult getting out that, that bottom bolt, uh, you know, in that area. Uh, but, uh, you know, anyways, I, it's... It's, it's, it's supposed to be an easy install. Putting the strut in and taking it out, it was like maybe like 20 minutes. It really didn't take very long, but just getting the stupid spring in there took forever um, because I just felt like this probably is not the right tool to use, the McPherson strut compressor. This is a right tool for a McPherson strut, which is that, but specifically, I don't think these are good. Uh, I think the ones that you should be using, they, they have uh, this portion right here, Instead of it being this long, it's I think it's about that long. That way these bolts, this long bolt isn't getting in the way because it kept getting in my way. I kept hitting, I kept hitting the top hat like in this area here. And I scratched the hell out of it. You can see right here these scratches where the uh, bit came really close to the, to the perch. And I just had a lot of trouble getting it in and out. I had to keep compressing it here, compressing it there. To finally get the McPherson strut spring compressor out, it was a real pain. I didn't really appreciate it, um, but uh, you know, just kind of some advice there uh, to use something else other than this. If you do look at the service manual, the factory service manual, they actually showed 
those um, McPherson struts where they're about that wide on the, you know, instead of this, they're about that wide. I bet you it makes a world of a difference. Uh, but just, you know, just taking a look, I mean, this is, it just looks beautiful. I really like the way it looks. I'm really glad that I'm able to put at least one in so far. <laughs> But uh, the other one shouldn't be that big of a deal, but um, you know, it, I just shipped it real bad from using this dumb, uh, you know, it was my fault, you know, using this, this, uh, this McPherson strut compressor. Um, I think if I use a different one, definitely this wouldn't be here, um, these chips, but uh, you know, we'll have to see. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, um, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I just want to kind of put that out there so that I mean, people um, do end up doing a spring strut or a spring uh, swap out. You can definitely use something else that won't chip your uh, springs, um, you know, and ruin them. Or just ruin their da the, the, the dapper look, you know. So if you want to keep it dapper, I definitely suggest spending, I think it's like 125 bucks. I just saw online. The, the water ones are about 125 bucks, and definitely in this area here where that touches this closed spring, uh, if you want to, I guess, put tape there, a nice big chunk of masking tape, a couple layers, that'll definitely make a big difference. I just wish I did that. I just was so pissed off when I was uh, working on it. I just wanted to get it done, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I think it looks really cool. I really can't wait to try it out. Uh, I still got to do the rears, different video, but uh, I've got a lot of other things I need to do um, in the back in terms of um, just the suspension and more bushings uh, before I drop it, um, the wheels to the uh, pavement and take it out for a spin um, to get an alignment, etc. But I just thought I'd just talk about that, and uh, thanks. Talk to you guys later.